You gotta let yourself fall. Feel what it feels like. And then you realize, you know what? It didn't hurt that bad. Let me actually try harder. What do you want to accomplish in 2022? And it does not have to be financial. It could really just be any goal that you have. Resolutions, risks, and redos. So what is your resolution? My New Year's resolution this year is to finish what I started, being committed to it. So basically you're saying you want to play full out. Yes. Not, not holding anything back. Yes, and then awesome. if I fail, then I fail. Like there's a story about this young lady and she was afraid to do gymnastics because she was afraid of falling. And her instructor, no matter who spoke with her, it was hard to, to pierce into her head because she's only about seven years old. But her nine-year-old partner that was training with her said, look, when you get up, just fall into the foam pit. Because either way, you're gonna fall. Don't even try to do the move, just fall in. So when she realized, okay, falling doesn't even hurt that bad, she then was willing to do the moves and attempt to do it. Because she realized at the end of the day, she was gonna fail either way by not even trying or by falling in the pit. So might as well attempt to do it. Sometimes you gotta let yourself fall, feel what it feels like. And then you realize, you know what? It didn't hurt that bad. Let me actually try harder. And that's kind of the good part about trying. So what's your redo? I knew I could do it. Why did I stop doing it? I was afraid of what other people thought. You see, you said you're gonna do it and you still didn't do it kind of thing. So it's just like fighting through those ants. Mm -hmm. In, yes, yes. Automatic negative thoughts. And actually the book I'm reading right now, The Art of Impossible. It's an awesome book actually, I was given this book. So one of the things they talked about like peak performance, and actually there's a whole bunch of stuff I wanted to bring up here. So grit. So grit is actually, uh, there's more than one type of grit. So there's, gr well first type of grit is grit to persevere. Then there's willpower, mindset, passion, grit to control your thoughts, self-talk, right there, what you just mentioned, ants, gratitude. Gratitude is super important. My life significantly changed when I added that to my life. It got even better. So you can have levels of making your life better and better. And that is another one, mindfulness. So mindfulness is different than self-talk. Self-talk is the way you think of, your, of, of yourself and these automatic things like you suck, you're not gonna make it, you're gonna fail. Those are ants, but that's also self-talk. So what, when I say you wanna kill the ants, you wanna kill the automatic negative thoughts, meaning you wanna get rid of your negative self-talk and change it to positive self-talk. We're not saying the kind of stuff where people are like the secret and they're saying, oh, I'm gonna be a millionaire. No, what we're saying is, I'm gonna try my hardest, I'm gonna give it my all, and I'm gonna learn from doing this. From, you suck, why even try? It's gonna, you're gonna fail anyway. That is really important. Now mindfulness is really actually a, another level of understanding your body and your physical responses. It really kind of involves knowing your thoughts and meditating at the same time. Now, at first it sounds like a lot or something that's not possible for people who've never tried it before, but you definitely need to try it. And as the more you do it, the more you start feeling, knowing your body, knowing how it feels, knowing how you're thinking, knowing your breathing. Um, when you start feeling those things, because we don't re realize how, what we, you know, how we breathe. When we start feeling all those things, our consciousness, our mindfulness changes and our ability to have more grit increases. And then the grit to master fear involve practicing fear, which is what Hannah was saying. What there's another habit to, to become, to bring yourself to the next level is taking those fears and getting, putting herself in the position to be uncomfortable and to be afraid more and more so that that becomes a habit. So when that becomes a habit itself, her growth will naturally grow. And that's part of grit. Anyway, obviously you can tell I've liked it so far. I'm halfway through the book from one sitting and um, it's a good read. Uh, one of my uh, unofficial goals, but I, I think I need to move it to more of an official goal and actually add it to my schedule, which is reading one book a week.
That's a hard goal for me because I'm not of the reading part itself, but the consistency factor, right? Forcing myself to be consistent. So literally that was also my goal. Yes, last night I was thinking about, oh, New Year's resolutions. Why haven't I thought of it lately? And I'm like, we're gonna talk about it tomorrow. You know, what is it? And one of the things is I wanna go back to reading more because uh -huh. when I was reading more, I was writing more. If we're gonna read, yeah. we should all pick something together mm -hmm. and say, hey team, we're all gonna read this. Okay. And then, you know, we can at least then hold ourselves accountable for what we're Oprah's reading. It's book club. It's Pascal's book club. It's, it. uh, I don't know if I'm going to call it Pascal's book club, but <laughs> it does have a good ring to it. So this ad has brought to you by Pascal's book club. Subscribe today.